Hello, this is Caleb O'Brien, and uh, my protein is the potassium channel. Uh, so here it is. Here's a 3D model. Um, as you can see, it has uh, some alpha helices, no beta sheets. Here it is in rotation. So it's shaped uh, kind of, I would say, like a screw. As you can see, if we can stop it right here, looking down, it's shaped um, kind of like a tube. Not very narrow, um, but the function of the potassium channel is to allow potassium ions to flow through it. Um, so, as you can see, there's a channel right through there, through the alpha helices. Um, as well, um, something where you can see this better uh, is when you do it by amino acid. You can see the 97 amino acids all in different colors there on the alpha um, helices. Now here's another uh, image of uh, potassium channels. As you can see those red um, little dots uh, they line the channels and they are oxygen atoms and they replace um, the function that water molecules do for the potassium ions and uh, so the potassium ions will shed their water molecules as they enter the potassium channel and the oxygen will interact with them and um, provide as a supplement for the oxygen, uh, sorry, for the um, for the water molecules so the potassium ions will be able to go through and then once they exit the channel um, they regain their water, mo water molecules um, and that's, that's um, how they don't allow other ions through as sodium ions and other kinds of ions would not be able to interact um, with those oxygen atoms that line uh, the channel. Uh, so there it is. Uh, that's potassium channels.